real life situations and role things and that's right excellent uh let's uh, have a look then uh today so where did we stop last time in our bible reading do you remember Nutton? we stop at Uh, then page nine. Let's have a look. Uh, which page did you say, Nutton? Page nine. Page nine. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. Oh, very good. Now, we have a lot of interesting colors in this picture, Norton. Can you tell me what those colors are? Um, red and gray. And red yellow. and gray and yellow. And brown. And brown, yes. And blue. and blue absolutely very good so and uh, let's uh, read then what it says I'm listening to you read then please uh, Norton on the second day mm -hmm. God the waters yes the oceans uh -huh. And let's yes. Uh -huh. Yes. On the first day, yes. Dry land appear. 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 That's right. And it happened. That's exactly right. Very good. Well read. Not. Tell me, uh, which words were difficult for you to understand in that uh, reading? Appear. Uh, appear, right. Have you heard of the noun, an appearance? Uh, Have you heard of an appearance? So, an appearance is the noun because you see... You have appear at the beginning of that word. And uh, we are looking, therefore, at the verb to appear. So an appearance is when you see something, okay? But it's like something suddenly becomes visible. That is to say, it wasn't visible before, and then all of a sudden, you see it. So you would say, ah, this thing has just now suddenly appeared. Okay. And I can now see a rainbow. You know, when it rains, after it rains, we see a rainbow appear. That is to say, we couldn't see it before, but afterwards, after it's finished raining, then we see the rainbow appear. So it suddenly becomes visible. Do, do you understand that, uh, yes. that those two words now? Appearance being the noun and uh, to appear being the verb. So it means in this sentence, let the dry land become visible so that everybody can see it <laughs> you understand or not yeah. excellent tell me which other words were difficult for you to understand in that paragraph no no other words you understand everything else yeah. that is wonderful excellent let's uh, uh, continue uh, with the next picture now the next picture it has the same background as the first picture, but there are lots of extra things. Wow. Can you tell me all the extra things you can see in the next picture? Not an. Um, uh, 
Uh, uh, peak, uh, tree, uh, yes, you can tree, see uh, trees. Uh, now, uh, how many different kinds of trees can you see? Three. three. Uh, yes, three trees. But three th trees altogether, but two of the trees are the same. Can you see that? Two, two of the trees are the same, uh, except one has light green leaves and the other one has dark green leaves. But there is another tree on the other side of the page, on the right-hand side, which is different. And it has different fruit, a different shape, a different tree trunk, different leaves, different branches. Everything is different. So that's a bit difficult because I've never seen a fruit like that. Have you ever seen a fruit like that, Martin? Like the one on the right-hand side, the right-hand tree? Yes. You've already seen a fruit like that. Oh, tell me, what is it called? And what does it taste like? Does it taste know. nice? You don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I've never seen a fruit like that. I'm not even sure if it exists. I mean, this is just the artist's representation of a very original fruit. Um, it looks a little bit like a pear, but it's much more sophisticated than a pear. You have a little thing sticking out in the middle, which pears don't have. So it, it's not a pear. Well, let's go on the other side where I think we do know what it is on the left hand side the two trees together trees are they L mm. look at what's under the branches those round things do you know what those know. big brown round things are no no have you ever do you know what a coconut is no Coconut. Let me write it for you. Okay. It's brown on the outside. It's round. It has a very hard shell, and you actually need a hammer to smash it. It's just so thick, so hard. And uh, inside, it's white. And it oh, has a nice, you know, and there's milk as well. Coconut milk and coconut water. Ah, you've heard of that. Cocoa milk, cocoa water. Yes. And that's it. I think coconut trees. They look like coconut trees. Now, what or different types of plant? Mm -hmm. Is it? Not the actual individual ones themselves, but how many groups are there? Um, two groups. How many did you say? Two. How, how, how many? How many groups? There are two groups and two, and then but I can have two types. Oh, that's interesting. Two types of flowers. Only no. two. Look at the shapes of the flowers. There's some green ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's some orange ones. There's some red yeah. ones. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I think that's exact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's it. I think you're right there, Notton. Okay, well, it looks really nice and colorful. So let's read what it says um, on the page, please, Notton. God also commanded the grass and sons and trash the trees 
to appear and uh, appear that and the uh, evening and the morning were the third day. What I didn't hear very well at the beginning because the connection wasn't very good. You could just repeat it again for me right from the beginning of the paragraph. If you could just read this at the beginning of the paragraph. God also commanded the grass and yes. flowers uh -huh. and shrubs. Yes, and shrubs, yes. To appear. Uh -huh. And yes. they appear. And That's the right. evening and the yes. morning were the third day. That's exactly right. So well done, Notson. You've read that ever so well. So, uh, which words were difficult to, for you to understand in that paragraph? Mm. No. No difficult words. You understood everything. What's a shrub? I, th I think we've had this before, but just in case, uh, you may have forgotten what it is. What is a shrub, Nutton? Um, is shrub? The, Any idea? Is the uh, the is it the the what a shrub tree, is? What is the, a shrub? The, you see where it says the and grass and flowers and shrubs and some trees. Is. So, what do you think a shrub is? I know. Is this is the the lowest? It's a kind of tree, but is it bigger than trees or is it smaller than trees? A small shrub. Is it bigger or smaller than a tree? Small. Lowest says no. Do you know what a bush is? A bush. Yeah. Any idea what a bush is? No. Oh yes, you sent me a nice little picture. There. That's good. So now you know that a shrub is either a big bush or at, uh, maybe a mixture of both, a bush tree or tree bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all that, we can go on to the next page. Wow, what can you see on the next page, Notton? Tell me. Um, it, it, I can see um, the earth and the sun and the moon. And the stars. Can you see those little dots? Lots of little brightly colored dots all around the sun and the moon and the. Uh, well, it's a bit like a cloud around the sun, yes. But the little dots, and sometimes there's like asterisk sounds, a bit like a cross, but a, a cross not with um, uh, four little legs, but uh, six little legs. Can you see it's that? Light. Yes, it, it's light, but um, what, what are those little things called? It's in the sky, little dots of light in the sky. Do yeah. you know what they're called? Stars, yes, that's it. Oh, well done, Notton. Brilliant. Okay, let's read what it says then. I'm listening to you. Then God made the sun and yes. the moon. Yes. So many stars. Yes. Nobody can cut them. 
That's uh, right. That nobody uh, can count them. Even thing. Uh huh. And the morning was the fourth day. That's right. That was the fourth day. That's brilliant. Okay. Well, and which words were difficult for you to understand in no. that paragraph? N no difficult words. You understood everything. Wonderful. That's excellent. So, let us go on to the next page. Oh, this is a big one. Well, hey, and what can you see on the next page? We need to read the Chinese. Oh, yes, I forgot. You're quite right. Let's read the Chinese. I think it's okay for this time because the next page is quite big. So, we'll keep that for next time. Very good so thinking, very not so excellent. Page. Yes, I'm listening. Since you read in Chinese, mm -hmm. Cantonese, sorry. Oh, well done, Nutton. You've read that ever so well. That's brilliant. Excellent. Very good reading. And so, after reading it in uh, Cantonese, uh, do you understand better everything that you read before in English? Yes. Yes, that's brilliant. Well done. That's really good. You've done a really good job there. So we can go on now to the RLS and RPS, real life situations and role playing simulations. So tell me, what would you like to choose for today's scenario, Nutton? Um, what I... situation? Tell me. I go to buy. You go to buy some fish. A fish. A yes. fish like the ones that go. Yes. And then they go sometimes like. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the sound they make, isn't it? <laughs> they go. <laughs> that's the sound of a fish. So if anybody asks you to make the sound of a fish, you know what sound to make. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's a very good idea. That's very interesting. Yes. Okay, let's do that. So, uh, do you want to be the customer and you want me to be the shopkeeper, Nutton? I, I do the, I do the customer. Oh, you, you want to be the, the shopkeeper or the customer? Um, you want to be the owner of the uh, shop? Shopkeeper. You want to be the shopkeeper? Excellent. Yes. yes. And I'll be the customer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this will be funny. Are you ready, yes. Nathan? Yes. Ah, oh, excellent. Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Shopkeeper. Hello. Hello. I've just seen the most wonderful fish in your uh, display window at the front of your shop. And I yes. would like to buy some of your fish. So, tell me, uh, I'm looking for a very uh, special kind of fish. Now. What are the most special types of fish that you have, please, sir, sir? And um, the blue fish and the, the blue yellow fish. fish. And which fish? Which is the other one you said? Yellow fish. The yellow fish, the blue fish and the yellow fish. Okay. Now, what is the difference between the blue fish and the yellow fish, please? The Blue fish is look like a shark. 
Oh, a shark. Wow. A blue shark. Ooh, that's dangerous. <laughs> I'll have to protect myself if I'm by <laughs> that one. <laughs> and what about the yellow fish? What, what's... The yellow fish is small, 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 small. Oh, it's a teeny weeny little fish. Very small. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, um, I hope it's not so small that I can't find it, that it hides behind... A, a grain of sand <laughs> at the bottom of the fish tank and it plays hide and seek behind the sand <laughs> and I can't find it. <laughs> Especially if it's yellow because sand is yellow. Imagine yeah. if it hides behind a little grain of sand, I wouldn't yeah. be able to see it because it's so tiny. <laughs> oh, wow. But if I was to buy both of those special fish, the, the shark fish and the teeny wee little fish I mean is, is there a danger that the, the big blue shark fish might not eat my teeny weeny little yellow no, no you don't think there's any but danger if you don't give him food he will eat all the fish and eat <gasps> you <laughs> oh no not me no no please please no not me <laughs> but if I had Take the shark fish, the big blue shark fish. What kind of protection do I need to defend myself so I'm not eaten by the shark fish? Um, <laughs> if you if you want to see him, you have to wear many, many things to protect you. Oh, I must wear many things. So Not like a face man. Oh, so I must wear protective clothing. So uh, what kind of protective clothing can I wear? What kind of uh, things that I can wear and what parts? A helmet, a helmet so, for the head, right. Yes. So I use the helmet to protect the head. Yes. And what about the eyes? How do I protect uh, my eyes? Uh, gotcha. Goggles. Goggles yes. protect the eyes. So the helmet to protect the head, the goggles to protect the eyes, what about the face? What can uh, I use to protect the a face? Mask. A mask, right. A mask to protect the face. Now, what about my neck? I must be careful because the neck is uh, a sensitive place. Uh, he mustn't uh, uh, attack me. Uh, attack my neck. What shall you, I use? You use uh, uh, something like a mask. Uh, yeah, something strong. Something strong. Yes. Like the very, very, uh, you cannot block it by yourself. Just the shark can block it. Ah, and so. Oh, it's a special neck Not protection. Like Iron Man. Oh, like Iron Man. So I have to have a um, <laughs> Iron Man <laughs> neck protection. Iron Man. Neck protection. Look at that. Wow. Iron Man neck <laughs> protection. Sounds good. Now, what about my shoulders? How do I protect my shoulders? Uh, no need. No need. What about the arms? My arms. How do I protect my arms? Your arms, they give him to eat. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm, I don't want to give him my arms to eat. And my fingers and my hands. How do I protect you, my fingers and my hands? Tissue paper. Tissue paper. Oh, I forgot to write down tissue paper. Yes, very important. Tissue paper for the uh, <laughs> fingers and the hands. Okay. What about my chest? How do I protect my chest? You know, the chest there, the chest. How do I protect yes. my chest? What do I use to protect my chest? You I need something to protect my chest. Just use your clothes. My coat. Yes, excellent. A coat to protect my chest. Okay. What do I do to protect my my tummy, my stomach. Because I know that shark. No need. <laughs> no need. Okay. Just give tissue. Oh, the co oh, <laughs> oh, tissue. No. Okay. Okay. What about um, my legs? How do I protect my legs? Um, put, put, put some, put some food. Some food. Yes. <laughs> the the food will protect my legs. Oh yes, he's going to eat the food, and so he won't be hungry. <laughs> 
afterwards to read my legs. Oh, good idea. That's very clever. I never thought of that. So I must add food. That's for my legs. Okay. What about my feet? How do I protect my feet? Use some, use rubbish bin. A rubbish bin, <laughs> a rubbish bin. One for each foot, that's two rubbish bins. I must write that down. Two rubbish <laughs> bins, there we go. One for each foot. And so I'll be fully protected. Right, I'm ready now to buy this uh, blue shark fish with all of my protection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much is this blue shark fish, please, sir? Tell me, how much is it? How many Hong, um, how many dollars is it? How many Hong Kong dollars is it? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Oh, it's not expensive. Not expensive. That's not a lot. Oh, it's a good price. Yes, I like your price for the blue shark. Sixty dollars. Yes, and um, how can I pay you? Um, do you accept uh, cash, check, uh, bank cards, debit cards, credit cards, uh, bank transfers? Um, how, how can I pay you? What are your different payment methods for paying for this blue shark fish, please? Sir? Oh, cash, banknotes. Right, sixty banknotes. Okay, here we go. Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. There you are, sir. 60 Hong Kong dollars. Is it correct? Did I count yes. it right? It's good. It's correct. Oh, wonderful. Right. So now, uh, what are you going to put? No, I can't take the shark like that. No, no. Uh, you must put it in something uh, so that I it doesn't... <laughs> um, you must put it in something. What are you going to put it in so I can transport it home, so a I can bag. take it home? A bag. Is it a special blue shark proof you bag? Have food, you, you won't the bag? Ah, so we must put some food in the bag first. Then we put the blue shark fish in the bag, and so he'll eat the food and he won't be hungry anymore to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Excellent. So, what kind of food does he eat so I know what to give him to eat? Chicken. Chicken. Oh, yes. I'm sure he likes chicken. Now, does he like his chicken roasted, fried, boiled, barbecued? No, oil. Just, just, just uh, oil. Uh, no, not like a chicken and then skip raw, him and then. Raw chicken. Eat. Uh, uncooked. Uncooked. Uncooked, raw, raw yes, chicken. Yes. Oh, he just eats the raw chicken. Okay, so I give him lots of chicken until he's not hungry anymore, and then it's safe. <laughs> 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 then he won't bite me, he won't eat me. <laughs> he won't go, ang, 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 ang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready now to take this uh, uh, blue shark fish, this special fish now. Oh, I, oh, I have it. I, I'm holding the bag now. Oh, it's quite heavy. Yes, this is a, a big fish. Oh, yes. I must carry it with both my hands. Both hands. I need both hands to carry it. Oh, yes. I can just about lift it up. Oh, yeah, this is good for weightlifting. Oh, yes. This is going to make me strong. Lifting up this shark fish. <laughs> Blue shark fish. Right. Now I'm just, ang, ang, ang. Yes, I, um, I can hear it. It's eating the food. Yes, I can hear it eating the food. Ang, 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 ang. That's good. It's eating the food. That's a good sign. Because if it's eating the food, then it won't eat me. It won't be hungry anymore. And it won't eat me. Right, that's excellent. Now I'm going to carry it all the way to the car and take it home. Oh, no. it, is the food give him all he eat all already? Oh, he's eaten all already. All he, the chicken. He, he wants to eat you now. Oh no! Help! 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 Give him more, some more chicken. More chicken. More chicken. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice uh, shark fish. There's a nice shark fish. Nice shark fish. Nice, nice, nice shark fish. Friendly shark fish. You're very nice. You're very friendly. <laughs> you don't want to eat me, shark fish. No, you don't want to eat me. <laughs> no, you don't. 
<laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Well, I'm going to take him home now. And so I'm going to have a wonderful shark fish to show to all my friends. And they'll be so impressed. And they'll say, wow, what an amazing blue special shark fish. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for the shark fish. Oh, and uh, oh, it's the end of our lesson and I must go because I have another student now. Oh, I must leave you, Martin. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.